coming about this, this, the offseason was sort of bookended by two major moves, right? So let's start with the most recent one. Like, what goes through your mind when you acquire someone like Drew, and you know, what 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 can he bring to this team? Yeah, I mean, you're excited. Um, I mean, things he can do both on both sides of the ball is um, pretty special, and um, be able to add a guy like that and and bring him in, uh, bring him to our side, and not have to guard him and do the things that he did with well, Milwaukee for the past few years and. Uh, I think everybody was super excited when they found out about the news. I mean, obviously it's tough to, to lose uh, Rob and Malcolm, um, but uh, we were excited to have Drew. What is that like? When you've had to go up against Drew, is that, is that defense as legit as they say, like how hard it is going against him? Yeah, yeah I mean, he competes each and every night. Um, I think guarding him was he's underrated offensively and mm -hmm. uh, the things he can do as on the offensive side, but like defensively, um, he feels like he can never be screened, and um, his ball pressure and stuff like that is going to be big for us. What's that going to be like? Because you guys were both all defense, I think, last year. Like, how what what is the potential for you guys as a backcourt together, and how much pride do you take in that? As especially when you start looking and say, like, okay, the Bucks added Lillard. Like, you know, there's going to be these different challenges every night. How much do you look forward to trying to take those kind of players out? Yeah, I mean. You look around the league, there's so many top guards and um, wings that it's going to be a challenge each and every night. And um, I think from top to bottom, we all re uh, realize that the defensive side is going to be where we should, where we got to hang our hat at. And um, obviously, it starts with me and Drew on the ball, but um, I think everybody's bought into it, and it's going to be a, something that we're focused on the whole year. We talked so much last year about okay, you came in on the fly. Like last year, you finally got to settle in. But like, what's next for? Derek White, like, what's what's the what's the potential? Like, what are your expectations for yourself this season? Yeah, I mean, I just think I, I just gotta continue to get better, um, be more consistent, um, stay with that aggressive mindset that I had uh, from last year, and um, I mean, it's gonna be a fun year. You know, we got so much talent, we got so many people that can do a lot of different things, and so it's gonna be exciting. And um, it might be my night one night, it might be. Sam's night, Peyton, like we got so much talent that um, it's exciting to have and I'm just going to have that right mindset each and every night. What's that like? Because, I mean, sometimes you come into a season and you feel pretty good about your chances, but I mean, you look at your roster this morning and it's like, wow, there's really no reason you shouldn't be part of that mix. Like, do you feel that excitement? Do you feel that energy? Like, it feels like you can, you, it, it, you know, you understand the opportunity that's available here. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. It's exciting times. Um, anytime you can put on this Boston uniform, it's, uh, it's what's it, expected of you and um, we understand that and I think we're all just, just ready to go in and uh, know that we can't really skip any steps and mm -hmm. each and every night we got to bring that right mindset and the mentality that um, we're here to, to guard, we're here to, to defend and, and, and really just dominate so uh, it's going to be a fun year and um, I'm looking forward to, to building that chemistry with the guys. What was your dad? You know, I, I always know your dad must have a stat or something that he wants you to work on. What is he? Uh, what is he pushing you to uh, to add to the toolbox this year? Or what is it, what is what is his critique? Uh, he hasn't sent it to me yet. Oh really? And so mm. I'm, I'm probably gonna get it here in a, a week or two. <laughs> uh, he wants to see the early yeah. stages of training camp first. Yeah, before last he... last year he sent it like a whole little Excel spreadsheet for me. And, <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, my dad's got every game I've ever played in the NBA on an Excel spreadsheet. Got every like numbers and stuff. My ma my dad's locked in, so he's he's gonna have something for me. I what know what was his bullet points last year? Like, what did he want? What did, I mean, because like clearly you must have you you must have checked some of those boxes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like he wanted me to shoot like thirty six percent from three, so I beat that one. Nice. Um. Some contest numbers. He he, he loves to contest the shots. Um. That's like his number one stat. I don't know exactly what that was, but I probably had to beat that mm -hmm. one. Um, and then he wanted me to shoot 90% from the line, and I didn't do that one, so. How close were you? I was like uh, 86 or okay. something like that, so got some work to do there. So that's like, the, the, the three-point thing is pretty lofty. You've set a high bar for that now, but, you know, free throws, chance. Yeah, you, can, you just got to prove everything. That's, that's the mindset. <laughs> right. Um, everyone coming back early. A little bit. I mean, I know you were one of the the, the the last guys I think to come back. But like, what does that say when Jason, Jalen, when all the all the core guys here wanted to be here well before they needed to 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 be here? Yeah, I mean, when I got here, everybody was just raving about um, how everybody just bought in um, for the moment that everybody came here. Like they bought into what the coaches were saying, and um, we're all just moving together for that common goal. So um, 
Al was mentioning it, and um, I mean, Al's been here for 17 years, and there's no one better to, to watch work day in and day out. And um, you can see like the young guys just adding little things to their preparation that they had gotten from Al uh, just just from the couple weeks that I've been here. So um, we got a lot of a lot of talented guys, and it's it's gonna be a fun year. What did, what did you, Jordan said? The, I think the first day you arrived, he had to go up against you one on one, and he was raving about like just what he was able to take from that. What do you what do you see in him? You know, he's so young, 19, but you know, what what sort of potential does he have? Yeah, I mean, young guy, but uh, willing to learn, um, wants to learn, and uh, he's just out here just observing. I know it, it comes fast. I mean, I was 22 when I came into the league, and it was, it was mm -hmm. too fast. So I know that everything's coming at him quick, and there's probably a big jump from college to summer league, and you know, now summer league to uh, open gym and training camp. So. Um, He's willing to learn. Uh, he wants to get better. Uh, he has the right intentions, and I just think he's going to keep getting uh, bigger, stronger, and just become a better player and player. Anybody jumping out? Like when you watch, when you're looking around the gym, or whether it's the five on fives, whatever you guys are doing, is there someone you're like, wow, this player has the potential to really kind of elevate this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think bringing in O'Shea, um, I think I was telling someone, I was like, I feel like every game I've played against him, he's done something to impact winning and uh, he just does all the little things and uh, guys like him and DB and uh, Lamar like those are guys that have always had I feel like good games against us so um, they bring a lot of versatility a lot of they can do a lot of different things out there so it's, it's good to have guys like that.